surprise for you guys. It's my sister. You've been asking for her to get back in the video content. <laughs> and I found a way to do that, even though it's a little bit sneaky. I, I'm welcoming it. We're starting a new series. And this is gonna be sprinkled in with all of my other regular videos that you already like, so don't get nervous. However, I've always wanted to do some home decor videos. And you just moved into a brand new beach cottage. And so did my dad, he lives across the street. We took some footage of what this place was like before you moved in. You're gonna decorate this place bit by bit on a super tight budget. We've been buying furniture off of Facebook Marketplace for $25. We're gonna start today with your curtains. My overall feel is beachy boho. I love the boho, but I wanna I wanna implement a little more beachy. We are gonna make some beachy boho seashell curtains. because because D is by the sea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the sea. So Danielle, do you mind telling us how big is this place? It's tiny. Five hundred square feet. So what I've been used to is about thirteen hundred square feet, and then I went down to about a thousand, and now I'm at five hundred. But I love cozy. I'm learning to simplify my life, which has been very fulfilling and freeing. I love this little cottage because it's small, cozy, easy to take care of, and it's community again. I, I have been without community and I just love it. We just walked to the farmer's market. She can walk to work. So we're gonna bring you into her community. I can walk to the beach. And I think what's really interesting is California is expensive. Yeah. I do a lot of traveling and I noticed that food is twice as much here. Gas is $5 a gallon. To buy a home on the beach in California, even the most ridiculously worn down little house under a thousand square feet would be a million dollars. So if you're on a tight budget, no matter what your circumstances are, we're gonna have a lot of good tips for you. This is her bathroom space. Plenty of space for one person, lots of cabinetry. This is gonna be where her washer and dryer goes. I love to use barn doors, so I think we're gonna put a track there and have the door slide across. Same thing for the door going into her bedroom. We are going to figure out her bed. She's gonna to have to do some reconfiguring. Her current bed has a big tall headboard, and of course she doesn't wanna block the window. And then she's got this tiny closet. You need more closet space than that. First walk in, there is lots of light and skylights. We're gonna put a kitchen island here. We're gonna build a giant wall unit out of old doors. The great thing is, is it's high ceilings. Danielle has her favorite chair that she wants to go right there. So this is my nest. This was the first thing I put up. Debbie said, are you sure that shouldn't go outside? Nope, nope, nope. This is where I pray. This is where I drink my coffee. This is where I look at the sunrise. This is where I listen to the birds. Storage area. Are you excited, Danielle? I'm so excited. Yeah. And there's Grandpa. Grandpa, are you excited? <laughs> I love to go through my design books and Pinterest and get images to help me plan out a design and I'm loving this overall look but especially the color on the wall for my sister's new beach cottage. We are on our way to Home Goods to find some curtains for my sister. All right, I'm supposed to meet Danielle back in one hour. I have an idea for curtains, but I'm also gonna need to go across the street over to Michael's Craft Supply. Although I really love vintage and thrifting, Home Goods is a great place to find pillows and fun little fill-in items. I am just walking through getting some inspiration for my sister's beach cottage. And these are the curtains that we picked and we are going to DIY them. And look at this cute little a doggy bed for Sadie. We really thought hard about getting that. We did pick up these pillows and a new rug that you are seeing here. So stay tuned and see how it all comes together in my sister's new beach cottage. <laughs> Thank you. 
Michael's is pretty much across the street from Home Goods, so I'm going in. I need seashells and boho bits. I don't know what that means exactly. I'm thinking tassels, pom poms, gems, something to doll up these curtains. Whenever I go to Michael's, I always go on their website and find their latest coupon. They usually have a 40% off one item or 25% off all the items. So I showed my sister the footage of the pillows and the other things I found, and now we're back. We're back again at Home Goods. Danielle, 20 minutes. So Danielle, do you like crafting? No, I hate <laughs> crafting, but, but it's a labor of love and I will do it on occasion for certain things. And this is one of them. <laughs> okay. Oh, look who's here, it's Grandpa. Hey. Hail, hail, the fun gang's all here. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, Debbie? We are doing a curtain project. This is very similar to one of the first videos I did on my YouTube channel 12 years ago. Mom and I used to make seashell curtains for the shop and so you saw me go to home goods we found these beautiful linen curtains and we are going to glue seashells and these beautiful turquoise stones all over them we're going to use hot glue which you would think is not a good idea but actually you can hand wash these curtains and the hot glue works best i think i have all the seashells laid out they are about six inches apart we have our bowl full of stones and shells here. You want it to look random, but you don't want to put two of the same exact shell right next to each other. So you wouldn't want like this one and this one. It just looks more interesting to mix it up. So you want it to look like they randomly fell on the curtain, but also perfectly. Yes. If that makes sense. <laughs> so and perfect. Danielle is going to do this. When my mom and I used to do it, we used to suspend the curtain. We would like stretch them across two chairs. But because Danielle has such a small house, we've laid out this plastic on her kitchen island. And she is going to glue them and then gently lay them down. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. So she's going to hot glue the back of the seashell. And then when you press it on the fabric, you're gonna lift the fabric off so that the glue doesn't go through and melt into the plastic that we have laying down. Yeah, so lift that up and just hold it there for a few seconds, kind of push down on it so that you know that it's getting a really good tight grip. And hot glue dries really fast, so that's nice. These, these are about to be a little bit tricky because you gotta get that. Yeah. You can glue those shells either that way, the way you're doing it, to show off the pretty ridges on the other side. Careful. Ow! Don't burn, don't burn. Ow. I like to take those kind of shells and do both sides, like show off the pretty ridges and then glue some the opposite way. There you go. Lift up on your fabric. There's no, like, you don't need to measure. I'm you just want them across. It on. You want it to look nice and random. So how's it going? Well, I think it's going pretty good. Are they sticking? It's sticking a little bit because it's cooling down. It's not like melting the plastic. Yeah. I've moved your little pattern around. Have you tried sticking one of the stones on? Because no. they're so pretty. Press nice. So how do you feel? I love it. Are you excited? I love it. I'm, I'm getting ready to hang them. I think they're going to look super pretty. We probably could do four panels, but we're going to put her sofa right here. So we're going to wait and see if we need more panels. We might mix in some other style for texture. But look at the gorgeousness. They're just so flowy and beachy. We 
got another set of curtains because we felt like we needed more. We got a different style. I don't think, I think we're only gonna do shelves on the outer ones. We'll see. Hey, okay, she's opening up her new rug. It's called Aloha. Hey, we have a new kitchen rug. I think it's cute. Danielle, what do you think? I love it. Sadie, do you like the rug? Danielle, how much did you pay for the tall one? $25. $25. She has this existing piece that she loves. So we are going to try and turn it into one entertainment center that will totally work for her. I kind of want to go a little bit higher with it, add some shelves, and then we have some old fence wood that we can cut at a diagonal so it matches this. See if we can pull it off. Debbie's going to redo your house. How do you feel about it, Dad? Are you ready for that? Well, I'm expecting it. <laughs> You're expecting it. <laughs> of all the stuff you've done for me, you feel like it's now time for me to help you. It's, that's a first, Dad, because usually you would say every time Debbie had input, you didn't want to hear Debbie's input before. Now you're expecting Debbie's input. <laughs> Apparently this sofa is $20 and it might be perfect for my dad because it's small and it's durable so it will stand the test of Levi. I'm thinking it's too good to refuse. We are just getting started on my sister's cottage and my dad's beach cottage. These videos will go up in between my furniture tutorials, so stay tuned. There's a lot more fun and DIY to come. Thanks for watching.